Our world. Just a sphere in the heavens, yes. And yet to us who live on its surface, there are untold wonders, many that we cannot understand. To some, moonlit landscapes such as this stir the imagination to awe. Quiet, shady glens seem to cast a spell over us to forget the busy life and remember the Creator. The design and beauty of flowers brings joy and comfort in life's dark hours. And trees, how we love them, tall, majestic, and protective, with the rustling of the leaves as the wind whispers through the branches. We love their unselfish provision of food for others. Their strength and friendliness have made them dear to the heart of man. Time seems to have little meaning and is mocked by their steady, silent growth. Man ceases to grow early in life. Oh yes, he continues to live to be 70, 80, 90, even 100 years old. But if we were to go back 100, 200, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 years to the time when Abraham lived, we could have seen a small tree begin its growth in a land that Abraham did not even guess existed. This little sequoia tree was growing in a forest in the part of North America, which is now California. Year after year, the little tree grew. Century after century went by, and our little tree lived on, becoming larger and taller. When Columbus discovered America, the tree was more than 3,000 years old. And today, 4,000 years after, it's still growing. It is now 280 feet tall. And it would take at least 20 men with outstretched arms to make a circle large enough to reach around the trunk, the base being approximately 115 feet in circumference. Dear friends, you know, this is a mighty challenge to a Christian's life. Eternal life, yes. But in addition to this, God wants us to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Not just a quick, noisy spurt and then leveling off or going into a downgrade existence, but rather to steadily, quietly press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Increase more and more and that ye study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands. Did we say something of work? Well, in spite of its seeming repose, here is a tree that is a symbol of work with perfect efficiency and silence, in perfect stillness, every beautiful leaf acts as a tiny machine, and every root, trunk, and branch a conveyor in a wonderful factory that produces vital needs for itself, man, and beast. Man, with his noisy factories, cannot imitate in the smallest way the work done by a tree. If we are rooted and grounded in love and ever reaching out to the Son of Righteousness for our daily strength and sustenance, we will bear fruit.
the fruit of the Spirit from a natural supply. You know, man tries to imitate this fruit in his own proud way, but unless he realizes he is nothing, it is vain, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Lord Jesus said, Without me ye can do nothing, but all things are possible to him that believes in Christ. For to as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. John 1.12 By taking Christ as Savior, he is born again, born into the family of God. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, and shall bear much fruit, as Jesus said, Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. All trees do not bear fruit. They may look like this, all choked up with suckers that sap the tree's strength and make it useless. A tree surgeon must come and cut away all the unprofitable branches and dead wood until we wonder if he hasn't become a bit overzealous in his actions. But next, harvest comes, and what have we? We have fruit. Yes, God's word says, Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, prunes it, that it may bring forth more fruit. To reject pruning means a wasted, useless life. Are there any of these in your life? Worldliness, carelessness, tail-bearing, envy, temper, lack of prayer, lack of love, shady talk, dishonesty, false report. If there are, and perhaps there are many more not listed that only you know about, then there just cannot be any fruit. How can you get rid of them? God's word says, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. John 15, 3. So you see, God's pruning shears is the word. Let's see what happens when we apply the pruning shears of God to our life. Love not the world. 1 John 2, 15. Be not slothful. Romans 12, 11. Thou shalt not go up and down as a tail-bearer, Leviticus 19, 16. Walk honestly, not in strife and envying, Romans 13, 13. Be slow to wrath, James 1, 19. Pray without ceasing, 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. 1 John 4, 8. Keep thy tongue from evil. Psalms 34, 13. Lie not one to another. Colossians 3, 19. Thou shalt not raise a false report. Exodus 33, 1. There we are, and the final result can be nothing else but fruit. You see, if we are rooted in Christ and grounded in his word, he will supply the necessary strength and nourishment. All we have to do is let him have his way with us. The fruit contains the seed. Supposing all trees decided not to bear any fruit, you know the result. In a few years, the world would be without them. Yes, the world needs, desperately needs, what 
what only a Christian can give. to be the results, that is up to you and me. Dear friends, we have been talking about the tree, God's handiwork, expression of a Christian life. Have you ever had your roots grounded in Christ? Have you ever felt his power and strength enabling you to live a life expressing love, joy, peace? say you have tried, but now you know that the fruit of your life is imitation, worthless. Christ says, you must be born again. You must be born into the kingdom of God. Once you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior and yield completely to his will, you will experience his limitless power working in you, causing you to grow in grace and bear fruit pleasing to him, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ.